Time to play with some clay. Well, I finally figured out where to position the uh, rifle and the arm holding the rifle, the hand holding the rifle. It still works out perfectly for the action of the horse. And let me show you here. I pulled the arm down I, and I had it way up here, which didn't make sense really. But now I put the arm down here And the rifle works out perfectly now. And as far as the uh, complication of doing the trigger guard and all that other stuff, uh, which would be hard to, to cast and would be very expensive to cast, um, I can now put the mane of the horse onto it and that will cover all that. So this is a perfect position. The horse's uh, reins are still straight back and uh, I'm liking it. Okay, the first thing I need to do is remove all this stuff that I put on yesterday. I'll lay it down here in the center. Uh, Got to remove that too. The braid I did. May have to redo that. Just move that over a little out of the way. Okay, now I gotta work on this arm and I gotta work on the back of the arm. Now, I'm only going to worry about the side that's going to actually be shown. I'm not going to worry about the other side of it because it would be a waste of my time. It's got to be perfectly flat, and the best way to do that is with the uh, edge of uh, an exacto knife blade.
Now, a lot of times, Native American rifles were picked up in battle off of somebody who didn't quite make it on the other side, one of their enemies. And maybe the stock might be broken or cracked. And so they would wrap it in rawhide to repair that stock. And that's what I'm doing here. I put a piece of monster clay through my pasta machine and uh, I'm making a repair on this stock of the rifle. I put the uh, <clears throat> clay through the thinnest setting so I could get it as thin as I could possibly get it. Now I just need to put a few wrinkles. Not a lot, just a couple in the uh, wrap. Stress wrinkles. Just to show that it is not wood. I don't even know if this side will even show, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm using a round-tipped tool. I'm just lightly touching it. They would often decorate the uh, rifle with brass tacks. So I'm going to make some brass tacks. Okay, I've got a bunch of these uh, small tacks made. I've attached a bunch of small ones on the butt of the rifle. And now I'm just going to do the design on the uh, stock. All right, I've got to uh, paint this to match the clay. I Before I did it, I thought I'd better put the trigger on because I'm sure that will show up in the uh, 
piece, so I'm just take, making sure I got everything covered. And what I've done is I've placed this on a piece of clay to support it so that I can paint this without getting my fingers in the way. And this will allow it to uh, dry as well. Again, I'll, I know I've said this before, but what I did was I took a sample of clay to a local paint shop, which in this case here in Annis, Montana, was a local true value store. And uh, I gave them a sample of the clay that I use and asked them if they could match it. And they said they could. And so that's what they did. And I use a indoor non-glossy paint when it dries it looks like the clay that I'm using It just makes it less confusing to the eye of somebody who's looking at the clay. And uh, for me to sell off this clay, I have to have a good photograph of the, uh, several photographs of the clay, the finished clay. So glad I got that plastic rod in a hexagon shape. For the barrel. All right, I came back down. I just downloaded all the video I shot today on my computer and I'm holding my cell phone right now because my other cameras are upstairs <laughs> but I wanted to come back down and just see how that looked with the uh, rifle painted and it looks dynamite I couldn't wait to see how that looked so it matches the uh, clay and it looks dynamite and I'm going to have to uh, work on that arm and that hand next time. So I'm going to say good night now and uh, see you guys next time. Have a great night. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.